Alright, everyone, welcome back to my Pokemon Fire Red Walkthrough Part 35. I did check what part I'm on, and this is Part 35. So in this part, we are in few, uh, going to be capturing the legendary Pokemon Articuno. And we are here in Fuchsia City. And this is where you have to go. Now, you need strength, the HM4 strength move. To make to uh, get to this Pokemon because there's a strength puzzle. I know everyone loves strength puzzles. Oh yes, you just love the strength puzzle. Yes. And I didn't fight all trainers out on this route uh, earlier in the one video that I was training. For. So, go to this one, don't go to that one. You come out that one, you come in this one. So, I mean, technically you could do it the same way, it's, it's changing side, but still, it's, it's... Um, I believe I know how to get through this. I'm not 100% sure, because I don't know if I can remember. But hopefully I don't get lost. So I believe it's this one, and then it's this one, and then you go. Ooh, no, it's not. No, there's. I probably already messed this up. It's this one, yes, and then it's this one. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't quite remember, oh my gosh. I haven't been here, like, forever, so, excuse me. Okay, no, it's this one. Yes, so this is where you have to go, so just try not to follow my exact movements, just remember. So what you have to do for this kind of puzzle is basically move the boulders in the whole same thing as the uh, victory road. Because once you put the boulders in the holes, you can actually now follow in the hole. And you will land here. And see that, uh, oops, I'm sorry, I'm kind of showing with my finger there. See the uh, current running water? You can't swim in that. So if you fell down before the boulders are here, you will be put back somewhere else. So now, here we are. The legendary Pokemon uh, are Kikuno. <laughs> uh, once again, save the game because this is the only chance that you'll get. Blah, blah, blah. And yeah. So now, let us fight. Gaiu. So this is the legendary Pokemon Articuno. Once again, there's only one, save it before you uh, fight it. And we are faster. So I don't know how much damage this will do because technically that this was electric. Articuno is icy flying. That this is electrifying, Marcus is fighting flying. So technically. Jolteon, I believe, will do more damage. Because Ayukuno... Okay, yes. Because Ayukuno will not resist. Yeah. Uh, that kind of thing. Yeah. Maybe I should have gotten a few uh, Marowak from the Seriales. Because that definitely would help. Um, But we have 60 Pokeballs. Hopefully we can do this in 60 Pokeballs. It is not as low as that is. Once again, only a thing percent, uh, three of like 200 something capture. Very low. I keep hitting the desk with my knee. Because I'm trying to find the comfiest position here, and it's currently not helping because the screen's shaking and moving. And... Yeah. So, anywho.
Oh, this reminds me of a time where I I used to do this all the time. I would have my save game, like my main game, and then I would replay the game, a new game. I would replay a new game, but without saving, because I didn't want to save, because I got so far on the old save game anyway. The main save game, I guess. So, when I got to the, you know, legendary Pokemon, I knew I would have to save. But I didn't, so when it came to whichever Pokemon I wanted, and I remember this, I was at Boston Pizza. I was at, no, I wasn't at Boston Pizza. Pizza Hut, I was at Pizza Hut. And I remember the way it came with our food. But because... And I think my battery was low and it was red. So I was like, oh, the food's here, the battery's low, or something happened. And I was like, oh, well, I'll just use my Master Ball, because it really doesn't matter. So I used the Master Ball, I caught it, obviously. And then um, I ate the food, and then because it was in my pocket, when we got home, I... We began to charge it, and then I just kept playing. And then, of course, I would charge it overnight. And I have no clue if it worked. I think it would work, but, of course, you know, I, I would always try to do this on the weekend. Because I couldn't, I couldn't never do this during the day. And sometimes, I would honestly put it underneath my pillow when I fell asleep. Because I would play it at night with my, you know, mother... Thought I was asleep. And I remember it always being in in the morning. Sometimes. Most of the time it's you know. And we caught it. Oh my god, we caught it. I wasn't even paying attention. I was just, like mashing the A button and I, 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 I was talking. So yes. We have the second legendary Pokemon, and I don't believe I have a escape rope. Let me just check. I don't believe I do. No, I do not. Okay. If I did, this would make it much easier. But I now know how to use the bike while swimming. I'm so smart. So smart. And we still have the repel, so that's awesome. Anywho, basically, I hope... Okay, yes. I now know what I'm doing. I know where I'm going, I think. I hope. Yes, I do. Okay, so basically, just, yeah, take this way. Wow, I'm hungry. My stomach just growled at me. It's time for food, so I will go to the, uh... Pokemon Center in the future, and in the next video, I will be at the location of where we have to go next. But for now, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna go eat lunch. Bye-bye.